Hey guys, Drew from Drew Does Trucks. I just have a real quick tip for you today. I love using these cordless impacts. This particular one is a super powerful Milwaukee. It's rated up to 1,400 pounds. We're working on a camper here that has a max torque spec on our wheels of 100 foot-pounds. And I just, I went ahead and zipped all these lug nuts down when I was doing the bearings on these to the first click. I had this set to setting three, the first click. Zip them all down, click, click, done, okay? So I know a lot of guys will do that and they'll go, oh, well, you know, if you use the same tool all the time, you kind of get used to where it's torqued at. Well, I'm pretty used to that torque wrench and that's where I would have left these wheels. This right here is a digital torque gauge. Okay, we'll let it calibrate. So zero, zero. Now, like I said, these are supposed to be torqued to 100. All right, so that one's right below 100. That one's at 100. Oops, I shut my, um, let me let that calibrate. It gets ready. That one there is at 30 foot pounds. Even though the rest of them are all torqued to that first click and we're very close to 100. That one here is at 30. And I'm not going in proper sequence on this. I'm just trying to show you um, why I don't like using an impact to torque things. That one there's at 98. That one's moving at about 40. You can see that right about 40 there. Boy. All right. But that just goes to show you when you're using a torque wrench, like I said, I, I just ran these down in a crisscross pattern. Click, 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 went back over them all until they have one click on them. Um, so was I dead on accurate on most of them? Yeah, we got 100 foot-pounds, which is like I said, I know that's around where that first click gets you. We had one right around, what, 30 and one at 40. So which two do you think are going to work off first? The ones that are torqued to 100 or the ones that are torqued to 30 or 40? And if you're worried about warping, like I said, these are drums. A lot of newer trailers are using aluminum wheels and disc brakes um, and other things. But if you're worried about warping discs or breaking wheels, um, when you have one torque to 110 or 120, and the one next to it torqued to 30, that's the kind of thing that also causes warping. So it's very important to get yourself a torque wrench. You don't need a fancy digital one like this, even though those are pretty inexpensive these days. All you need is a regular click style one, um, even one from Harbor Freight, even though I just broke mine from there. But you can get them from Amazon or anywhere else. So anyway, that's my quick tip. Torque your trailer wheels. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the next video.